Cancer of the pancreas is the 12th most common cancer in the U.S., but fourth leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the U.S. Unfortunately, 80% of pancreatic cancer patients have terminal disease at the time of diagnosis. With an average life expectancy of four to six months, the lowest survival rate of all cancers. Pancreatic cancer mostly affects people between 55 and 84 years of age, especially people who have diabetes mellitus, pancreatitis, cystic fibrosis, HIV, and hepatitis B. Other risk factors may include citagliptin, a medicine for diabetes, cigarette smoking, and a family history of pancreatic cancer. Surprisingly, blood group O reduces the risk of pancreatic cancer. Unfortunately, in early stages, pancreatic cancer is asymptomatic. At a later stage, symptoms may include jaundice, fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea, and vomiting. Pancreatic cancer is diagnosed by CT scan, MRI, and biopsy. Pancreatic cancer is treated by complete surgical removal. In early stages, patients also receive chemotherapy with gemcitabine, whereas in advanced disease, patients are treated with combination therapy called fulfirinox. Early screening in high-risk individuals can be useful by performing endoscopic ultrasonography, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, or cholangiopancreatography, MRCP. For more information, including a list of expert doctors and hospitals, visit www.expertdocs.com.